Man, if you haven't seen the new CapCut features, I promise you this video is exactly what you need. Over the last couple of months, CapCut has been releasing incredible features like mid-journey for CapCut, AI-generated scripts, background removers, transcript editing, which is incredible. The list goes on for how much CapCut has released recently. And I wanna take you through some of these incredible new features. If you take content creation seriously, I promise you that I've been blown away by these features. Let's jump over to CapCut. If you don't have CapCut installed, CapCut is literally available for your phone, for your Mac, for your desktop, Windows PC, and CapCut is online. So we're gonna be jumping between some of the different CapCut versions and different devices to utilize these tools. There was a conversation that I had with the team from CapCut Dubai a couple of months back where a lot of these new tools for business, for personal, were very hush-hush. And it's so great to see how quickly their team has implemented them for us creators to use. The first is text templates. Text templates are everywhere these days. I use them a ton in editing promo videos, adverts, etc., etc. You would have actually seen some of these text templates in videos that you would watch on TikTok and Instagram. In the text tab, we have literally a ton of different options. Social media, lower thirds, trending. So let's say we want to use this awesome uh, text template, right? We can go ahead and add that onto our timeline you'll see here that there isn't an animation out. So it has this cool kind of animation in, uh, it's static, and then it just doesn't do anything on the out. If we wanna add an out animation, there's two different ways to do this. Either you can click on your text layer, go to animation, go to out, and you know if we wanna add a slide down effect, we can see that that can just slide down like that. The other way to do it is to create a compound clip. So click Alt G, or if I backspace there, right click, and it'll open up your settings and click create compound clip it's the same shortcut in final cut now what this does is it creates this as a video layer and we get access to all sorts of cool motion graphic uh, transitions as well so if we want to add a fade out we can then do that the next new feature is also something along the templates line but this is on capcut.com forward slash my edit the link is going to be in the description this is capcut's online editing system once you're on the web page, go over to templates. Here we have hundreds of templates that you can use for your brand, for your personal videos. And I promise you, these are super, super cool. I mean, if I'm just hovering over this one right here, we can see it's got that cool kind of transition uh, darken effect. Another one that's cool, back to school, we can create a different effect here. If we wanna kind of trial, we can activate the sound. In the top left, you'll see if that's available for commercial use. If you're a business, you can post this on TikTok and the sound isn't gonna be copyrighted and you're gonna be able to boost that video. Go ahead and click that template if you're interested in it. You can see it tells you three clips required, three text materials required, nine by 16 aspect ratio and how many uses it has. And again, available for commercial use. Once you're ready to see it, or if you wanna see some different templates along that line, you can then go ahead and scroll down. But once you've found the template that you wanna use, say use this template, pretty self-explanatory. It's gonna open up your editor, you can change the elements, just click the replace, you'll find the video that you wanna use and you can replace all the different elements. Once you're done, click export, change that to 1080p, as it says recommended for TikTok. You can retitle it, go to advanced settings. I like to choose high quality at a 30 FPS MP4 and click export. The next feature is something I haven't even seen in Final Cut. I know DaVinci has a version of it, but it's relighting. You are now able to relight your video in the CapCut desktop app. Go ahead and drag a video onto your timeline. Once it's onto the timeline under basic, go ahead and scroll down and select relight. Now, this is a relight that I did for the sake of this video where we can see the orange on my right side, the blue on my left side, and we have this relight function where I can brighten my face, I can go top down, I can go bottom up, etc., etc. What's great about this is there's so many cool customization techniques and different options. Facial, ambient, I've selected the teal backlight. And again, for customization, we can go ahead and select light one. We can make it directional or point. We can choose to have the light affect people, in which case you can see it'll start changing my skin tones, but I want it to be on the background. So I'm gonna select the background and we can see it makes that change there. We can change the color. I'm gonna leave it at orange. The intensity, obviously very self-explanatory. 
we can choose to have it in the highlights or not. And then I would recommend always leaving your brightness on full unless you feel like your video was shot too bright and you need to bring that brightness down. This is just affecting the global overall brightness of your video. Let's say the blues are too much. We can go ahead and increase or decrease that intensity. Uh, decrease or increase that radius where it starts to push over there. I'm going to decrease the radius so it stays on that side. Bring down our intensity a bit. Again, in the highlights, how much blue do we want? And then lastly, this middle light. So again, without much effort, if I go ahead and toggle that off and toggle that on, you can see blues on my left, oranges on my right, and I am brightened up by that middle light. A very, very cool relight feature that can add a certain style that you want to your video. A fantastic tip. I know this is available in Premiere and I think DaVinci, but they've just brought it out for CapCut. It's transcript editing. On the CapCut side, create a new video project. We can say blank canvas. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag the video that I wanna edit right into my timeline. Once our video is uploaded and on our timeline, on the left panel here, go ahead and click transcript. We can select the language and the video track. If you have multiple videos layered on each other, you can choose a certain video track. Since we just have one video track, that is video track one. Go ahead and click transcribe and that's going to generate our transcription in a number of seconds. Another cool thing about this is as we play the sound, it highlights the word that we are currently saying. Here we can see I did a retake where it said hold on control and click. So all I'm going to do in this portion that I want to delete is highlight the text. You can see it's highlighted the portion of our video. If I move my mouse over to delete, it turns red and we can say delete. Let's go ahead and hear how that sounds. With minimal effort, no timing, all I did was transcript edit, it's made a perfect cut and the video sounds absolutely fantastic. A cool feature here by the star is identifying filler words. Zero filler words found, filler words like um, uh, etc. And then there's also speech gaps. If we're thinking about an idea, if there's a portion where you know you kind of forget what to say, it's gonna identify that as a gap and you can remove both the filler words and the gaps. Set your gap duration if you want it to be two seconds, one second, etc. A fantastic way to trim your long form content into something that is usable and it saves a lot of time. The fifth feature is the background remover. Now, don't get me wrong, CapCut has had a human background mover for a very long time and it had its quirks, it had its flaws, but they've just brought out their new AI background remover that can now identify animals and objects as well. Scroll over to magic tools and you'll see background remover. You can go ahead and drag and drop or upload your own video. Let's go ahead and select this dog with the glasses on. Once it's generated, your background is going to be automatically removed. We can select on and off to see what it's done. And as you can see, our dog's background has now been removed in a couple seconds. This is great for anyone who wants to layer some text or even change the background of their subject. For our sixth tip, generate high converting TikTok ad scripts. Sometimes when uh, you're tasked to generate 30 different ideas for ads, you want something to help you. And it's great that this is now natively included in CapCut. So I'm just gonna use their kind of guiding points. Let's make our product a hairdryer. Let's select it as fast drying, low noise and low electricity consumption. If I click generate, it's going to generate five different scripts for us. This hair dryer will make your hair look sleek in no time. It has been designed to dry out your hair quickly and quietly while using minimal electricity. Plus, it comes with a soft ceramic heater so it won't damage your hair. Get yours at $19.99. We can also change the script if we'd like, but let's go ahead and use the script. From here, we can add our media and then we can go and edit our video. We can also add an AI voice directly to the script. A fantastic feature that they brought out, which is generating an ad script and being able to turn that ad script into a video in a matter of minutes. My best feature that CapCut has just brought out is kind of a mid-journey effect. It's a text to image feature on CapCut. How you get to it is create a new project on the CapCut desktop, go ahead to media, say AI generated, and here you can see I've already generated a couple, but all you have to do is prompt CapCut. So we can say a puppy swimming in a pool. Very simple, very easy. Over on adjust, we can select what style we want, general or anime. I'm going to leave it on general. Then we can select different formats and ratios depending on the type of video we're making. If it's a reel or a TikTok, we generally want to stick to 9 by 16 but because I have imported a 16 by 9 video, I'm going to leave it on 16 by 9 Then the steps kind of determines how long it takes to render that image. The higher you go on steps, 
the longer it's going to take, but the more precise your image is going to be. Directly proportional, the lower the steps is going to be, your image isn't going to be as refined, but it's going to be quicker. I'm going to leave it on 50. Let's go and generate a puppy in a swimming pool. While this is generating, what's great about this is you can very quickly generate images that you can use in your videos. A trend on social media right now is kind of that Iman Gadzi effect of having different visuals and images that you can use in a short. With this function, you don't need to go to Mid Journey, Dali, you can generate those images directly from your computer and from CapCut. Once you've generated the images, you can quickly select the two different types that is generated here. You can see these are low res, so let's say I wanna use this one, I just have to click that small HD button under the image, it's gonna go ahead and make that HD. From there, we can click the HD version. We can choose to download it directly to our machine, or we can add it directly onto the timeline by clicking the plus icon. And there we go. Our image is now input into the video. You can obviously add all the effects that you want, and that's, it's mid-journey for CapCut. CapCut has made a mid-journey, which is absolutely incredible. And those are seven brand new features that CapCut has just released. I hope you found value. I really do think that these tools are things that I'm gonna be using a ton, that I've already been using a ton. It's just incredible to see how quickly CapCut is releasing updates and very, very quickly become one of the top editing platforms in the world. I'd love to know which feature was your favorite one and which you think you'd apply the most. So in the comments, drop what feature you think you're gonna use the most going forward. Also, if there is a feature that you'd love me to dive further into, let me know. I'm using CapCut literally on the daily and creating amazing videos for different brands. And I'd love to show you best practices, techniques on how to create viral content. That's going to be all for today. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure to have you here. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.